，有啦，有声未啊？有啦，嗯。Good morning. Thank you very much for attending today's meeting. May I welcome the、uh, Secretary for Economic and、uh, Development, Commerce and Economic Development, Mr. So, and also his colleagues for attending today's meeting. I ask the Secretary to highlight、um, his policy agenda, and then、uh, I will、uh, policy initiatives, and then I ask me, allow members to ask questions. Well, our meeting will last、uh, an hour and a half. And I don't know whether there are members coming, so I suggest、uh, three minutes for the first round with questions and answers included. Short questions and short answers, please. Well, Mr. So, if you're ready, you may start now. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Members, good morning. The SRG is committed to develop economy,、um, communications, technology, and great industry、uh, industries we want to develop. The paper has highlighted the、uh, portfolio of the CEDB in these、uh, areas. With regard to the major initiatives, as for information technology, in particular design, over the years the HKDC has been committed to promote the development of design and also promote Hong Kong's image overseas, and its achievement is outstanding. This is an important partner in promoting design industry. Um, the administration provides a three-year financing support, which will end uh, uh, in June this year. We propose to uh, fund $80 million、um, to fund the basic operation of the HKDC until 2019, and the DC will continue to、uh, nurture talents. Uh, we have increased the subsidy for young designers, and also、um, subsidizing the quota, increasing the quota from four、uh, to twelve for overseas studies. And the、uh, new design incubation program will also be provided with funds、uh, to adopt、um, to support more industries,、uh, more enterprises. We have completed the review on the FDF. And we will introduce a four-prong approach to support film industry. We encourage the development of local production, nurture、uh, producer、uh, talents, of, and also、uh, build audience base and promote Hong Kong film. We will inject two hundred million dollars into FDEF to enhance the film production financing mechanism. The new、uh, film production grant scheme will、uh, launch the. Uh, first uh, FFFI,、um, and in February and March this year, we'll go before the panel、um, to、uh, provide the details on the、uh, funding support for FDF and also the、uh, program, and that will be reflected in the budget of 2015-16. The C in his policy address made reference to encouraging the development of cinemas. Um, cinema is closely related to entertainment activities, and that is synergy. And we want to encourage the development of cinemas. We are work.、Um, we have made proposals to relevant departments in planning、um, development.、Uh, should take into account、uh, earmarking space,、uh, spaces and land for developing cinemas. As for IT, we have fully reviewed telecommunication at、uh, the.、Um, Uh, design 21 strategy, new smarter Hong Kong, smarter living strategy、uh, sets out the framework for Hong Kong、uh, to leverage on new technology. In 2011, we launched the、uh, Data One, and we in 2010,、uh, and we have been adding more and more public information uh, for um, in digital formats, and we also encourage、uh, creativity. And development of、uh, portals. There are seventeen categories for free reuse, and there are three thousand datasets for value-added reuse. 
and there are many mobile apps making use of information or data under data one, such as uh, real time weather forecasts and traffic information. And to uh, release potential of PSI, we will make available all open government data in digital format from 2015 onwards. A vibrant mainland market provides opportunity for IT sector of Hong Kong. We are committed to help um, the um, launching of mobile apps in the mainland. We work with uh, the trade to participate in major trade shows in the mainland. Together with the uh, experts in the mainland, we published the Hong Kong Guangdong Practice Guide for Procuring Cloud Services in December 2014 uh, for service providers of both uh, sites. Cloud computing enable uh, small SMEs uh, to adopt um, IT, ICT solutions and applications enhance their uh, competitiveness. We encourage SMEs to make use of cloud computing. We have launched um, the uh, cloud SME cloud promotion program. We provide uh, free courses and um, we also organize promotion arrangements. We have also adopted security measures, which is prof of professional standard, and we deal with the various um, attacks and hacking. And also for IT security uh, personnel, we provide on the job training to our staff members. We continue to uh, promote um, ICT uh, security, and this month uh, we launched the Medic um, Security uh, Cyber Security Information. Uh, portal is for promoting public uh, Wi Fi. In 2014, August, we launched the uh, Wi Fi.hk brand. We um, introduced free Wi Fi um, for use. Uh, this is provided by the government and also by uh, the private sector for uh, certain sectors. There are more than 10,000 hotspots, and we expect that we can provide more free hotspots to citizens and also visitors. Uh, we'll continue to promote the development of the um, telecommunications uh, market. With regard to the 3G spectrum, um, we um, have completed the legislation and legislative process for 3G spectrum reassignment and also auctioning. As for the customer complaint settlement scheme, it was complete. It was, the pilot scheme was completed in 2014 October, and we are reviewing it and then mapping out our way forward. We'll continue to uh, monitor the effectiveness of other re regulatory and publicity initiatives. As for broadcasting, we'll continue to promote DTT and DAB, and the LTHK will continue to um, launch new programs uh, to discharge its duties as the public sector broadcaster. The scene is policy addressed last year announced that we will uh, restart the setting up of the um, creative um, uh, in innovation and creative bureau, and the um, legislation has been endorsed and relevant um, financial proposal have been put before the FC. And we urge members to pass the financial and personnel proposals. Chairman, uh, this is my introduction. I'm happy to answer members' questions. Thank you, Mr. So. Wong Kok, King Charles, Peter, Mong Ma Fung, Kok, Lo Wai Kok, Ma Yu Si Wing, Xin Chong Kang, Liang Xing. I expect members are coming, so I suggest three minutes questions and answers, inclusion, including. Mr. Wong Kohen. Yes, Chairman, I welcome the administration's uh, policy proposal on um, supporting the development of the film censorship, uh, the film industry. With regard to the um, uh, provi provision of uh, cinema in a certain area, what are these areas? Uh, does it uh, just refer to new areas or what? Let me give you an example. In the North Point, there were six cinemas. 
And in fact, the cinemas contributed a lot to the economic development of North Point and attracted a lot of people to live in Mong Kok, promoted retail industry, uh, promoted um, small traders. But now in North Point, the number of cinemas was reduced to one sunbeam. And um, after much good efforts, uh, the Sunbeam Cinema was kept. Otherwise, the last cinema would have disappeared. I just want to ask the administration, how will you support the cinemas in Hong Kong? In fact, Sunbeam is fighting for its survival. So how would you support them? Who has answered the question? Thank you, Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Wong Kok Hing, for the uh, question. Um, just um, concerning this, um, there are many um, prop uh, properties in the uh, urban area are aiming at um, profits, and therefore it would be very uh, difficult um, for the uh, cinemas uh, to. Um, keep themselves alive. Uh, we are working with the Development Bureau with regard to in NDAs. Um, we will add in this element. As mentioned by Mr. Wong, uh, as pointed out by Mr. Wong in the policy address. Now, previous plans um, are set. And we cannot just lightly change the land use. We have to go through other supporting measures. Say, for example, in terms of film production, we can provide assistance. We encourage. Uh, Chairman, I hope the administration can provide assistance to cinemas in the urban areas that are fighting for their survival. They should be given a subsidy. A subsidy should be open for them for application. They cannot survive under high rent. Mr. Charles Spiedemock. Secretary, uh, some uh, call this uh, policy address a political address. And I'm quite sure it's just a progress report. But as a progress report, I'm afraid. Uh, it has gone uh, failed because uh, even uh, things approved in 2011 by LegCo have been reported where there are n almost no new initiatives. I, uh, perhaps uh, when reading such documents, we should not, we should look more uh, at what you haven't mentioned rather than what you've mentioned. Now, uh, the importation of labor, as we all know, in the IT sector is difficult to hire talents. However, if you rely on importation of talents alone, uh, in the last uh, week I have heard feedback from my um, members in the industry. Some are concerned about um, positive uh, negative impacts as a result of imported labor in Singapore. Uh, local uh, students there are not um, studying IT anymore. So this goes against your policy, and you have not consulted the industry yet. And for those who are practicing, they're even more worried. Uh, it's because uh, while uh, there are vacancies, some have difficulty finding jobs. And for IT engineer, it is even more uh, electrical engineer. It is even more arranges. Uh, many, uh, there aren't enough people, and uh, many new graduates are hired overseas. So you should think of nurturing our own talents and do not uh, just import labor to uh, fill the gap. Of course, the government claimed that it was not uh, real. The list of imported uh, talents was not uh, real. So can you tell us how you're going to consult uh, various industries, including my constituency, on this matter? Mr. So, thank you. The administration has done a lot in uh, nurturing uh, ICT talents, not just professionals. Uh, we started. We start in school. We hope to create uh, the up right atmosphere in schools. Perhaps I can uh, give the floor to Mr. Mac, uh, uh, Mr. Lam, uh, the CG uh, 
I owe to uh, elaborate. Uh, thank you. Uh, we are cooperating with the industry as well as the education sector. Students are invited to uh, join our job fairs, and, uh, and we also promote uh, more communication of students. We have uh, recently set up an uh, IT uh, website uh, for students and parents to give them information on uh, the learning of CIT. Last year, some uh, uh, TV episodes uh, were produced to uh, showcase the uh, economic and social contribution by IT to community and to encourage creativity, IT creativity of students. Every year in our uh, award uh, scheme, uh, we have a special category for students. Of course, to enhance training of talents in ICT and to start it early, we propose that starting from 2015-16, we uh, offer uh, enriched IT program in secondary schools to groom IT talents. Um, the steering committee comprising representatives from the government, tertiary institution, industry bodies, and IT teacher association have been set up to uh, develop the curriculum. Thank you. Mr. Ma Fung Kwok. Thank you. Uh, the policy address uh, has uh, dwelt uh, at length uh, on uh, the uh, support for uh, the film the industry, so I support uh, this initiative. Now, two hundred million dollars will be injected into the film development fund. Whereas uh, when it was first set up, there was three hundred million dollars. So I'd like to know whether there is a cap on the annual budget of the fund, and if this two hundred million dollars is exhausted, will there be new funding? And secondly, uh, planning policy. I've mentioned uh, this uh, many times. That is. Uh, for the development of cinemas. And finally, the administration has uh, accepted my proposal. I'd like to know whether there are any um, preferable sites the government have in mind, and uh, will you the in consult the industry first before you uh, implement this policy? I'd like to turn to broadcasting policy. Last year, uh, two licenses uh, were about to be issued, but uh, they've yet to be uh, really uh, issued, and then uh, the uh, renewal of TV, free TV licenses uh, has to be tackled, and I'd like to know the progress, please. Thank you, Mr. Ma, for your question. Uh, that $200 million for the FDF, as mentioned in the policy address, it will be spent on various schemes, uh, such as film production grant scheme, uh, the first feature film initiative. And uh, uh, regular uh, items uh, for uh, to support the production of movies under the FDF. I will believe that for the time being, uh, this two hundred million dollars would be sufficient. Of course, if uh, more is needed in the future, we will uh, decide on the basis of uh, the prevailing circumstances. Now, this. Well, on the 15th of October 2013, uh, principle, approval in principle was granted to uh, two new free TV licensees. I understand that uh, the uh, CA Communications Authority uh, have uh, been uh, taking uh, follow-up actions uh, quite um, proactively with the two licensees. I think uh, progress is uh, good, and uh, they will make recommendations to the seeing council soon. And then last year, on the uh, 4th of November, uh, the CA make recommendations uh, to the uh, CE in council on the renewal of free TV license. And uh, the relevant uh, administration authority is uh, assisting the uh, executive council in considering that recommendations. And uh, announcements will be made as soon as uh, there is a decision. Uh, indeed, uh, the IT market has uh, given us um, huge business opportunities and uh, 
has made tycoons uh, in the mainland. For instance, we have seen how rapidly the market has developed, and uh, those uh, new tycoons uh, have very interesting supposedly have very interesting stories for our young people, but it's strange in Hong Kong. In the secondary in level, on the secondary school level, many students can um, grasp the skills well, but uh, not many of them choose IT, CIT as a career uh, for future development of this industry. Our talents are critical, and I'm sure members have very similar questions. Uh, I, I have been involved in the uh, curriculum um, planning of uh, the new um, uh, senior education curriculum in IT. However, in many schools, uh, they dare not uh, open a CIT project, uh, pro CIT uh, subject, because they think that it is too career oriented and. Um, Students may have difficulty finding jobs in the future, although this is a uh, misconception, but we have to address this. So uh, you have uh, this enriched IT program in secondary schools to groom IT talents, but it's just for a few uh, gifted talents. So how can you ensure that uh, in Hong Kong people uh, will change uh, this concept? Thank you. I've seen that... Um, uh, when in university, uh, many students do not uh, choose CIT as their major or minor. So uh, we'd like to remind students, or uh, we'd like to enhance students' interest in uh, IT. And this enriched IT program uh, is tasked to do exactly that. That is to enhance students' interest in IT. Uh, you may be aware of a new development in Hong Kong. Cyber companies, startup companies, uh, have uh, created an equal system, and they have uh, provided a booming environment for new startups. So the business sector and the industry and the school would to, school sector would together uh, build up uh, this uh, ambience, and uh, we hope that we can have venture capital funds to help uh, new startups to uh, develop in Hong Kong in this industry. Ms. Wang Ting to be followed by Mr. Chen Chi Chun. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, during his election, uh, the CE proposed that uh, ITB should be set up, and he mentioned it again in uh, para 48 of his policy address. Uh, this is the uh, aspiration of many sectors in Hong Kong for a long time. In the last uh, term, uh, the ITB panel and uh, the IT panel uh, jointly passed a motion to uh, set up this bureau. However, uh, because of filibustering by the uh, opposition part, opposition camp, uh, the um, ITB has encountered too many hurdles, and as a result, uh, little progress has been made. Because uh, the opposition camp has claimed that they uh, have launched a non cooperation campaign, how can you convince them so that uh, they uh, can uh, give up? This uh, non-cooperation campaign, and that so that the bureau can be set up as soon as possible. I think uh, the best uh, policy is to convince members that uh, uh, that uh, it is um, uh, the uh, setting up of the bureau is very important to the industry. I hope that with uh, the setting up of the new bureau, we can have a dedicated bureau and dedicated a head of bureau to uh, promote the development of this sector. I hope that uh, members can pass the uh, funding applications uh, for uh, post-creation and uh, selling of the bureau as soon as possible. I don't know whether the secretary has noted this. While the opposition camp claimed 
that uh, they have launched a non-cooperation campaign. There are some members in that camp that uh, look uh, uh, eagerly hoping for the creation of the Bureau. So will you lobby these members in particular to address their aspirations so that the opposition camp can uh, rethink its position in this on this matter. Uh, thank you. Every member is a target of our lobby, and I've also noted that there are individual uh, members of the council that have very specific uh, demand for the early creation of the bureau. Uh, so we're going to step up efforts in communicating and uh, uh, with these members so as to lobby them. Thank you, Mr. Chen Chi Chun. Thank you. Secretary, I'd like to discuss with you uh, paragraph 55 of the policy address to uh, encourage uh, the development of cinemas. The government feels that the film industry needs support. What's the problem with our film industry? Are we short of cinemas or short of quality films, or is it that uh, people are not interested or not willing to? Uh, go to the cinema to watch movies. It's true that cinemas can uh, boost economic activities and bring a uh, new circulation. Theoretically speaking, uh, new devel developers should set up similar cinemas in their uh, new shopping malls. Now you're assuming that they don't have the initiative to do so. So I'd like to know the mode of operation. Will it be a compulsory requirement or will it be in the form of subsidy? Uh, for the former, that means uh, when land is granted, there is uh, this compulsory clause. But what if uh, there isn't enough patronage? People don't want to go to cinemas. What are you going to do? Are you going to provide subsidies uh, to ensure cinema survival? Frankly speaking, I think that people are not interested uh, to go to cinemas anymore because there aren't interesting movies, not enough uh, interesting local production in particular. Mr. So, please tell us, when was the last time you went to a cinema to see a local production? And do you know how many local productions are currently uh, showing in now? And I believe um, the secretary cannot answer this question. If he can, I will treat him to a meal. Of course, for Hollywood, uh, big productions, you like to go to the cinema to watch them. And for local productions, now you're going to provide $200 million. It is not a big sum. Even though you have the policy, it may not be effective. Our movie industry is not doing well because the government hasn't uh, given enough support for our industry. They suffer great difficulties in getting uh, in doing location filming. Now, when the Hollywood film producers come to Hong Kong, the government facilitated them a lot, um, but not f uh, helping local uh, film producers in location filming. Although I am very busy, I have I still have time to watch um, the um, local productions, and I watch uh, Zhang He. It is very encouraging. And uh, it has this, uh, it has depicted the situation in Hong Kong. It's worth um, uh, watching, and I recommend Mr. Chen uh, watching that. And I asked the Prime Secretary to answer the uh, question on planning concerning the uh, points raised by Mr. Chen. They are similar to a certain extent with us. Um, the um, Film production is also important, as well as um, cinema. Um, there should be more new uh, bodies joining the film industry. As for planning, uh, we are working on the uh, land side and also on development um, to assist the um, setting up of cinemas. We will look into that. We will start the process. As for nurturing um, talents in the film industry and building audience, you are working, we are working on different fronts. This morning, there was a press report saying that we would encourage, we would build audience through the International Film Festival. Uh, we will work hard on uh, different fronts. Next, Mr. Yu Wing, and then Mrs. In Chung Kai. Thank you, Chairman. 
I want to refer to paragraph 29. Last year, the administration organized a, a three events under the brand name Zhong Xiu Kewa, IT and Yao Go Yue There is no uh, English name for this event. No, um, the participants were interested in um, raising or enhancing the use of IT in S among SMEs. And after the meeting, I talked to stakeholders, including IT companies and travel agents. If there is a body um, developing a system, uh, I mean the IT um, stakeholders develop a, a common system for the travel traffic indu traveling industry, um, that will be good. A, a single system cannot be uh, cannot fit all SMEs. I know that last year uh, the administration uh, set up a fund of fifty million dollars for the uh, the retail industry, and the fund would support um, developing a system for SMEs in the retail sector. I think that's good. I therefore wrote to the CEDB, but the reply was disappointing. Now, it was said that the fund was for the retail industry and not for other industry. In fact, the travel industry is related to the retail industry, and there are many SMEs among the travel industry. Why? There is a fund only for the retail industry and not for other industries. I don't know whether the administration will, in the budget, consider, say, a um, similar type of funds for the travel, travel industry, which is, in fact, similar to the retail industry, or, so that we can uh, compete and we can uh, be um, move, uh, given the driving force. Yes, I think um, that uh, matching arrangement is needed. In fact, 67 SMEs and 73 ICT companies took part in the three sessions, and we hope that we can further uh, link up the SMEs and the ICT uh, sector. Since 2004, we uh, launched the various training programs, and we assisted 17 industries. Maybe the OGCIO can speak on this, and that covers um, the travel industry, and we've completed 24 uh, projects and 38,000 um, people in the sector uh, were benefited. Maybe the OGCIO can speak on this. Yes, please be precise. The SME support scheme did cover the um, travel industry. We notice uh, that cloud computing is a very useful technology for promoting SME using ICT. At the end of 2014 to mid 2015, we will launch the SME cloud promotion campaign. There will be training courses, uh, promotion activities, and competitions to encourage SMEs to adopt um, cloud technology uh, widely. The travel industry can make use of the scheme to promote ICT among the travel industry. Mrs. In Chong Kai followed by Mrs. Leung Xing. Well, I'm a bit scared by these policies. Now you encourage people to go to cinemas to watch Hong Kong made films. I don't know whether in the future uh, the uh, tickets for going to the cinema for Hong Kong films will be cheaper or there will be free tickets, free cinema tickets. Well, you can claim that this is a means to promote the cinema, but why don't you promote uh, cultural programs, art programs? You don't issue new TV licenses. And are you going to hand out free tickets uh, for people to go to cinemas? My question is another um, um, is not in this area. I have a question for the OGCIO concerning the uh, upgrading of government information, uh, the information systems within the government. The time uh, is uh, taken is very long. Say, 
the lifespan of a system may be 10 years, and then you use the system as long as 15 years. How do you assess your system? Now, some of your colleagues um, uh, told us that even if the hardware or shortware or hardware or software are not working efficiently or smoothly, you still use them. So what is your replacement arrangement? In fact, the government systems, uh, information systems are updated from time to time. Now the member mentioned that some systems are still being used while they are not functioning smoothly. In fact, that's not true. Each system is um, monitored by professionals. And if the hardware of software uh, uh, is outdated, then proposals will be made to update the system. Every year, we have different types of funding, um, schemes big and small. Say for uh, small programs, we have the EMSD's uh, funds, and for bigger projects, we have uh, we apply for funding from the FC of the council. We look at our systems. Well, I want to ask your office, is it led by your department or led by the department in terms of system updating? Uh, Chairman, in fact, the uh, departments have to make uh, proposals, and the OGCIO also looks at the systems of each department to see if there is any possibility of uh, such systems being outdated, and if that's the case, then we remind the uh, departments to update their systems, and we are also involved in the steering committees. Lang Sheng, followed by Mr. Lang Kok Hong. Thank you, Chairman. Concerning uh, film development, uh, that's a very uh, important uh, sign for a metropolis. An official mentioned about quality. Mentioned quality. Now, in the past, they uh, said that a film could be produced within seven days. Now, the subsidy given will not uh, be subsidizing uh, big films. Uh, the subsidy can still encourage more uh, people participating uh, in the film industry. Now, there is the issue of uh, quality, good quality, and good box office income. It's about uh, you uh, need to get uh, people interested. It's not just uh, having a big laugh in a cinema. After you've watched the film, you still are reminiscent of it. Uh, but if it is just uh, aimed at the mass market, then you may just uh, go for not so high quality. Now you say you uh, have a team to encourage the development of film industry. Now what is uh, in doing the assessments by your team? Would you look at the, would you be market oriented or so called society oriented or quality oriented? Thank you, Mr. Ng. As for the uh, FFFI, uh, it is to uh, support uh, the um, producers or directors who are um, new uh, to the industry. We have a professional team to assess um, the proposal. Uh, Mr. Liu can explain this. The um, F F F scheme is to provide an opportunity uh, to uh, uh, producers, artists, or directors, or students uh, to um, make a um, film which is uh, as long as a commercial film. So. Um, more and uh, more emphasis is put on creativity. Now the team comprises the director and also other uh, production uh, personnel uh, so that the film is both creative 
and also um, um, having a commercial um, inclination. And within our uh, team, we also have um, people who are experienced to provide uh, assistance. The emphasis is on creativity. Mr. Hong Kong, and then Regina, uh, good morning, uh, Chairman. Confucius says that um, uh, if you try, try to be smart, you um, and you you engage in smart talk, and then you give out uh, small uh, handouts, and, um, uh, and then you claim back, and in fact you are not a uh, good person. Well, in fact, uh, C.Y. Leung is just this kind of person. Now, if he really cares about uh, the creative industry, then, um, well, um, C.Y. Leung doesn't give a license, didn't give a license to HK uh, TV, and um, he continued to um, maintain the uh, license for ATV. I think $200 million can't pay um, all the uh, wages in arrears. Mr. So, uh, do you uh, watch uh, the satellite TV of uh, programs of the mainland? In fact, when you look at those, uh, when you watch those programs, they are pro they are joint production between uh, mainland Taiwan and uh, Hong Kong uh, um, film. Um, uh, uh, producers, directors, and stars. Well, you can see uh, these are uh, programs, uh, uh, series showing the um, communists combating the Kuomintang, uh, or the, their so-called uh, underground activities. And that's all. Now, the uh, those who used to make comic uh, films in Hong Kong. Uh, are now featured in mainland films uh, killing the uh, uh, Japanese invaders. Now those uh, comic stars, uh, used to be comic stars in Hong Kong, uh, uh, have uh, gone to the mainland and then um, are featured in um, series uh, work, um, and uh, they play the role of communist soldiers fighting the Kuomintang. I really want to ask the um, secretary uh, if you want me to give you your, my votes, then you need to pr uh, give us uh, good products. You need to deliver the goods. So you are handing out uh, sweets and candies using our hundreds of uh, millions of dollars. So I think perhaps you should talk to Mr. Matthew Zhang so that I don't have to hear every day that uh, ATV staff are not being paid. This is so ugly. Expatriates have asked me how come uh, this uh, TV station uh, don't pay their staff. Perhaps this $200 million uh, should be uh, provided for um, paying salaries. Mrs. Regina Ip. I'd like to ask Mr. So about uh, supporting the film industry. Well, um, he uh, talks about he very elo eloquently for development of cinemas. In fact, many industries such as the transport and logistics industry, they don't have land for storage. Uh, they don't have land. So why, why are you helping uh, the film industry or cinema, the development of cinemas? Uh, uh, do you have any policy, uh, industry, industri industry policy? Is it that you will just uh, provide any, in, uh, you will support any industry that uh, asks you, uh, that lobby you and uh, take you to uh, and have meal with you? Do you have you uh, considered the economic contribution of uh, cinemas to our GDP? Well, um, cinemas are important for our local film industry because, uh, to a certain extent. Uh, the audience in Hong Kong uh, do not have a great preference uh, for local productions to a large extent. It is because of the marketing and uh, um, promoting uh, strategies of uh, local of uh, foreign productions, and it's important that uh, local productions have a place to show. So we have to ensure that there are cinemas 
to uh, show movies produced by our local talents, and therefore, uh, our proposal uh, to develop cinemas uh, intends to uh, provide more opportunities for uh, local productions to be shown. There is no logic whatsoever. Uh, Mr. So knows nothing about e eco of uh, econom economics. You have not told us uh, the uh, contribution to GDP by our cinemas and also the number of employees. You have to consider the global trend. Even if you have more cinemas, you cannot uh, fight um, production such as Transformers. You have to cooperate either with uh, mainland production companies or Hollywood uh, producers. I uh, recently uh, uh, met uh, Someone, uh, he said that uh, he was able to uh, get a hundred million dollars uh, in box office on the mainland by a low production, and then for, and uh, he also uh, got a a billion uh, dollars in uh, ticket sales on the mainland. So why are you helping this industry? What criteria do you adopt? Well, in the creative industry, there are a lot of crossovers. Uh, Uh, in fact, uh, the film industry uh, has uh, got uh, its benefits spilled over to other industries, including the business sector. Mr. Ma has given us a valuable, valuable uh, input in the development of cinemas. Perhaps uh, Mrs. Regina Ip's view uh, is a bit different from that of the industry. Dr. Priscilla La, thank you. When we assessed the development of our film industry, have you learned from very successful overseas experience, such as the South Korea? Now, uh, for instance, if they have uh, got a few uh, popular productions, then uh, their fashion and uh, their food culture can uh, be incorporated into uh, their movies and they're able to attract very uh, brilliant talents into their TV and film industries. They have got uh, young people holding a master's degree to join the industry. This is all because of their government policy giving strong support to this industry. In Hong Kong, what we need is software. We very much hope that young people can have the opportunity to start their own business, and uh, they are very smart. They know how to use uh, IT and uh, Internet, and their creation can be very attractive. This is something uh, unique to this generation. So if we can encourage them now uh, for uh, most creations, uh, you need capital. Only a very few, lucky few uh, can uh, use a zero capital to produce something. So um, if you spend resources on the software, it is worthwhile. But if you just spend money on hardware, how much consumers can you reach and what are the targets? I do watch TV, uh, a comic uh, drama series uh, called Lo Biu Lei Ho e, uh, was very funny. Although uh, ATV is very much criticized for its administration and management, uh, the staff is so valuable. They are a batch of uh, people who really love their media work. In a highly um, commercial society in Hong Kong, it is uh, so uh, valuable that uh, they are still uh, producing programs uh, in ATV. Well, I do uh, switch channels from time to time. So uh, we do have, um, they, they have uh, humorous uh, productions, and I think we should do more to encourage uh, these people in Hong Kong. Thank you, Dr. Leung, for your uh, question. I do agree with you. Uh, the f movie industry is an important element of uh, creative industries. Uh, last year, there, I mean, last week, uh, there was a major um, uh, f 
uh, exhibition, and you can see the film industry uh, can spill over to the design and uh, record making and uh, also other industries. So for contribution to the G. You cannot look at the movie industry alone, but the crossover or spillover to other industries. And IT training is also important. And also uh, this um, um, licensing uh, industry is uh, the licensing is also important. Dr. An Chang, secretary. I, uh, you have raised, uh, you have um, made good suggestions on um, uh, industry, on uh, economic development, but we don't have any um, manufacturing industry in Hong Kong. While well, we should have diversity, but should we have uh, something more concrete? For instance, high value added manufacturing industries. But uh, the current policy address is silent on this. And the government is going to spend five billion dollars uh, for the uh, IT fund, innovation and um, uh, technology fund. However, in the past, uh, you gave them uh, five billion dollars. People are supposed to uh, pay back to the fund after they have made profits. But uh, under the new scheme, you don't no longer require that. So is it something good? So first, I'd like to know whether we're going to uh, promote the development of uh, things like uh, manufacturing industries. And this $5 billion that don't have to be paid back, what is uh, the rationale behind this? Thank you. In the IT panel, we'll have the opportunity to uh, discuss uh, in great detail, the uh, five billion uh, injection to the IT fund, and uh, Ms. Uh, Jeanette Wong um, is uh, responsible, but uh, unfortunately she is not here today. Injection to the IT fund will uh, help the industry to develop more smoothly in the light of uh, past experience. We need to uh, help. Uh, small industries, uh, small and medium enterprises uh, to develop. And um, having reviewed uh, the uh, current um, mode of operation, uh, the new injection will help uh, SMEs to do better in commercializing uh, their products of R&D. What about uh, manufacturing industries? Will we consider this? Now, if you say we're not going to do this, then uh, all right. You, you, you don't have to ask me anymore. All right. I think this uh, should be uh, asked at the IT panel. But this is a question for the secretary. If he can choose uh, whether he wants to answer it or not, you, you look at him, he really wants to answer. We'll have another uh, team uh, to respond uh, more comprehensively uh, at the IT panel. So we'll have time uh, on that occasion. Ms. Claudia Mo, three minutes, please. Thank you. So uh, this policy address has uh, avoided the has avoided the difficult uh, parts. New IT, as we all know. It is now the fifth right in society. But when it comes to broadcasting, uh, licensing and renewal of uh, free TV licenses, this is a big controversy in society, and uh, the, there is no mention of it entirely in the policy address. And also setting up of the uh, ITB, uh, there is also no mention of uh, amendment to uh, the uh, copyright ordinance, the so-called uh, Internet uh, Article 23 law. So 
you talked about promotion and uh, giving money. What is your attitude? Are you thinking of controlling the industry or using some goodies uh, to uh, tempt them to accept your amendments first and then uh, you can from time to time invoke uh, this provision on uh, dishonest use of the computer to arrest uh, netizens. Yes, I hope uh, we should focus on the development of IT industry. Please do not politicize everything. And please, uh, when it comes to copyright, uh, this is not the uh, right forum to discuss copyright issues. Uh, we on uh, an, another panel meeting, we will we'll have a paper and also uh, the team available to discuss this. And we should not label everything and politicize everything. Chairman. I fail to see why uh, IT is not related to this panel. Well, you talked about a uh, copyright ordinance. Well, you say that uh, this Internet Article 23 law has nothing to do with this panel. Well, I think it is already outdated to label uh, things. Why don't we look forward? Ms. Mo, can you please continue? Or even if you're not going to uh, talk about um, that uh, Internet Article 23 law, but for uh, licensing and renewal of uh, free TV uh, licenses, there you say that it has nothing, it is irrelevant, but I have yet to hear your question. I'd like to know the government's position on a renewal of free TV licenses. Uh, the ATV in particular, it is a mess now. It is in a mess now. How are you going to tidy up that mess? And uh, what about uh, HKTV? Uh, does it have any chance to get a free TV license? Well, on the question of license renewal, well, as I said, uh, the CA has made recommendations to the CA Council pending um, the deliberations or decision of the Council. Uh, second uh, round. Uh, I've just read out uh, some names. Any more? We have to end by 10. Nong Kuo Hong, Claudia Mo. Paul, did you raise your hand just now? Oh, you were about to do so. Um, Ma Fung Kwok, second round. All right. Three. M uh, Mr. Posi, since uh, you raised your hand as your first round, you go first. I'll rather wait. We maintain the three-minute rule. Uh, Charles Mock. In answering Mr. Yu's question, the Secretary mentioned uh, how the administration helped the SMEs to make use of IT. You have two programs. Say, for example, under OGCIO, you have the sector-specific programs. Um, that is. Uh, you uh, provide, you help them to uh, set up a system or you do some promotion. Another one is also important, and that's to give money directly to the SMEs so that they can buy the systems or things that are available in the market. Now, the one that is uh, helping the travel industry, uh, according to you, is not uh, being handled by the team here. Now, you are promoting technology adoption program. It's not just by a single industry. Even if it is sector specific, uh, it covers more sectors instead of a single industry. Say, so for example, this year for the travel industry. But in fact, last year it was the uh, retail industry and not the travel industry, not for the travel industry. So how can you address such demands? You need to support the development of the IT industry, you need to be comprehensive. Uh, now policy is lacking. Uh, sometimes it is an off and on, or on and off arrangement. So uh, the suppliers or the service providers find it very difficult to adjust. We still have members in, uh, who have raised their hands. We don't have enough time. Um, I give you two. Uh, I can only allow two minutes. I give twenty seconds to the secretary. When I answer Mr. Yu's question, I mentioned that in many sectors there are specific measures to help 
each this uh, sector. In fact, Mr. Lam also mentioned that with regard to cloud computing, uh, the administration encourages the SMEs to make use of cloud computing to reduce costs. This is an across sector uh, effort. You see, Wang and the Mao Kwok. Yes, um, Chairman. In 2004, the administration started to consider enhancing technology adoption by SMEs. A few years ago, the TIC did a project, but it was not successful. Uh, there was a start, but there was no good end. I agree with Mr. Mock. Now, there are service providers, and there are also buyers. How can you um, en uh, encourage interaction? I think the arrangement for the retail sector uh, is good. The SMEs can apply for a sum of money to enhance their technology or enhance their hardware. I ask the same question. Will the administration uh, help SMEs to um, adopt new uh, adopt IT in a way like the retail industry. In fact, we have answered that many times before. Maybe I asked Mr. Lamb to answer the question on what we have done. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I mentioned that uh, among the SMEs, we will have a promotion program. Uh, among SMEs to uh, promote cloud computing that will benefit all industries. There will be training courses. Uh, more than 3,000 people from the SMEs will benefit it. We will organize awards. SMEs can elect uh, the grand award on uh, cloud computing application and cloud computing solution uh, grand award. Through these programs, a uh, different industry can make use of cloud technology in particular, and also IT at large. I want to ask, Mr. Yu wants to know the approach of gifting, gif, giving 50 million to the retail industry uh, will that be um, also? Uh, will that also uh, apply to the travel industry? I've already said that the cloud computing is for all industries. The OGCIO will launch the uh, cloud computing service program for all industries. Mr. Yu, you better ask the question after the meeting. We'll pursue um, the question after the meeting. Mr. Ma, I just want to give them a piece of my mind. The administration should consider asking new developments, say, for example, a shopping mall to provide a certain percentage of space for cultural uh, facilities or for a cinema. You can give them a little bit of uh, relaxation on plot ratio. The policy address mentioned film, um, automation, uh, cinemas, but what about publication? Will you work through uh, SIPA to allow publication industry to have a bigger market in the mainland? And also, there is no um, training in, uh, in our education system for going into the publication industry. On the SIPA level, we are actively exploring the market for Hong Kong publication industry. Mr. Liu will answer the question. With regard to using SIPA as the uh, channel to expand the uh, publication markets in the mainland, we are now working with the uh, mainland authorities, but the progress we have obtained was not significant in the past few years. We will continue to work hard in this area. As for curriculum development, In fact, uh, such a view has been reflected to the uh, administration. Um, concerning the uh, Design Institute, uh, it does provide uh, a uh, printing uh, technology cost, and we asked them to do more in this regard. Mr. Sin Chongkai. 
concerning helping the cinema industry, do you need to uh, seek funding from the FC? I've heard uh, they will give out cheaper tickets for um, during the film festival or during the uh, first feature film festival. Now, will you pay or will you subsidize the cinema or you f will you force the cinema to charge a lower um, ticket, a low, lower price ticket? Uh, now, we are working on uh, planning uh, to help the development of cinema. The Permanent Secretary can answer the question. Yes, yeah, so uh, supporting the film industry, the idea is uh, to work with the uh, film in, uh, International Film Festival. Now, we aim at the students. We still have to iron out the details of the Hong Kong International Festival, uh, Film Festival Society. Apart from allowing the uh, young people to watch films uh, with a discounted ticket. Uh, they also have to participate in uh, classes. The scale is not so big uh, uh, as to, uh, to the extent that we need to seek funding from the FC. We are not just asking people to watch Hong Kong films. We are nurturing the interest in watching film, watching foreign films, uh, watching patriotic films, all types of films. All types of films. Why don't you uh, subsidize cultural activities? We have many artists. Um, they uh, do uh, have a lot of performances, and they are also uh, local productions. In fact, the uh, cultural um, Council also have a uh, subsidy program, uh, Art and Development Council, they also have programs, and the government also provides uh, free venues, or subsidized venues. Uh, Chiang Lai Wan. Considering uh, Para 23 uh, of the policy address, the administration proposes uh, in Namsa, Chiang Uh, to uh, get uh, concession and to uh, launch um, new initiatives um, benefiting Hong Kong uh, Hong Kong enterprises. Now, what type of enterprises are interested in going there to do their business, and what what sort of concessions? We'll continue to explore that with Guangdong. Uh, as for Nansha, Hengqin, and Qianhai. They have different development objectives and strategies. Now we will continue to talk to the Guangdong government, uh, Guangdong provincial government, government on this. Now the uh, CEPA agreement uh, and, and related measures are um, um, well, um, uh, uh, having a pilot scheme and early implementation in Guangdong province. We are exploring uh, the uh, various uh, issues, including comparative advantages and also uh, channels for further development. Many young people uh, interest to know the development of a smart city in uh, Kowloon East. Can you have some time to speak on that? Chairman, this is a measure under the Development Bureau. Maybe the member can uh, uh, ask other colleagues to address uh, this question uh, at other um, locations. No, Chairman. Now, there is a movie, movie channel uh, uh, provided by now. They have uh, round the clock uh, foreign films. You can buy up the channel and then show the films uh, for young people round the clock. You don't need to organize such a uh, costly inter international film festival. Like the cost is very low, and Richard Lee can do it. Why can't you do it? Next is about. Uh, or rather, Victor Lee can do it. Uh, why can't you do it? 
Now concerning AD, concerning ATV. Well, even if ATV is not listed, in fact, ATV uh, is insolvent. It cannot pay uh, rates. It cannot pay wages. Uh, now I asked a question. I put a question to see why land was meant by cutthroat competition. In fact, you cut your own throat. I'm really angry. Well, when I uh, had a broken leg, I had to come back to cast the vote, and I couldn't turn the table. I couldn't change your policy. And now uh, there is no plan or zero plan. ATV uh, has put Hong Kong to shame. Somebody asked uh, why ATV didn't uh, pay wages. I just said ATV was just a uh, bean cut or fermented bean cut manufacturing factory. Oh, uh, the, the, the friend said uh, he, he finally understood it. Question. Maybe you asked Mr. Roy Tang to take over ATV. So demo and then Paul Chai. Just now the chairman, uh, just now chairman, uh, the secretary asked us not to uh, politicize the ATV issue. It's really childish. He is a senior government official. Every government policy is related to politics. Uh, education is related to politics. Brainwashing education. There is brainwashing education. ATV is a um, serious um, issue. How are you going to tidy up the mess of ATV? And what about the renewal of the license for ATV? What is your position? The secretary. As for wages in arrears or wages owed by ATV, Mr. Matthew Chang has answered the question many times before. It is handled according to the law. And uh, the Communications Authority has made a proposal to the Executive Council. And if the Communications Authority finds it necessary, further information can be provided to the EXCO. The EXCO is now handling the renewal of license. Point. Chairman, we are talking about a free TV station, uh, the uh, survival or otherwise of such a station. So you should not regard it as a labor dispute. It's a company can't afford uh, $10 million in wages. In fact, $10 million is just peanuts to a TV station. So you should not uh, really um, uh, say that any uh, staff would like to go, uh, they can go, and those who are willing to pocket uh, part of the series, that's okay. What is your attitude or position, in fact? I uh, didn't get your question, Ms. Mo. What is the government's position as to uh, the uh, survival or otherwise of ATV? Well, I said a number of times, well, uh, ATV hasn't even paid the uh, license fee to the uh, CA. Uh, Ms. Mo said that uh, we are doing it arbitrarily, but it is not really the case. Well, can the CA choose to revoke his license? So what is your positioning position if uh, it can't even afford the license fee, Mr. Posse? Thank you uh, for reminding me. Uh, the uh, policy debate, uh, the debate on the policy address, should focus on uh, the future development of Hong Kong in the future. Uh, perhaps uh, the administration is just uh, trying uh, to uh, provide stopgap measures, and our members are putting uh, questions unrelated to the policies that address to the uh, administration at all. No wonder uh, the administration doesn't have to do too much. Uh, like uh, uh, Buddhism says, uh, you just have to focus on the present. So, uh, however, looking at questions from members, uh, they're just concerned about the present. There is no, uh, no vision at all. I'm worried 
well, because when it comes to IT or design, uh, uh, these industries need a lot of time to develop. Uh, many years ago, South Korea started uh, to uh, develop IT, and they have put in a lot of investment. Now, my question for the secretary is our approach. Mr. Charles Piermok asked a similar question. Most of our industries in Hong Kong are services industries, but uh, when it comes to innovation and creative industries, I think we should more focus on application than R&D because we do not have enough R&D funding. I think uh, the funding proposals here are just uh, useless. Uh, we are just uh, following other people's uh, uh, footpath. And uh, secondly, how do we assess uh, the effectiveness? So you spend some money on this, uh, some um, briefings, and you think that it's okay. It's not concrete at all. So have you studied other other countries' examples? Uh, what mode do they use to ensure success? Now, uh, for instance, what kind of uh, incentive and the progress and uh, the percentage of GDP uh, spent on R and D uh, in Israel is four percent, in Hong Kong is zero point something percent. So we do not have any objective indicators. So do not just look at this year. Can you be more forward looking? Thirty seconds left. Well, in the long term, uh, this industry uh, will uh, go for. Um, E, uh, an economy based, uh, an information based industry. So we will uh, provide money uh, to nurture talents and uh, we will also align with the development of the business sector. Well, uh, cyber ecology, e ecology and also uh, trade, IT trading, well, these are important developments. As Mr. Uh, Zer said, well, uh, there must be a match uh, between RDP, R&D people and the business people. Uh, so uh, we have arranged, uh, for instance, uh, events like uh, I have a date with IT people. So the ambience itself is important. It is important for the business sector and our people to uh, apply IT. Uh, take a set startup as an example. This is a new wine, and uh, we must get a new bottle to hold it. That is to support startup industries. Uh, we, the two branches under the uh, CN. Uh, the uh, uh, com com uh, uh, Commerce and Economic Development Bureau uh, do work together so that uh, there can be better application of the fruits of R&D. Uh, there are 10 minutes left. The two um, members have put up their hands. Two minutes each. Mr. Lo Wai Kwok and Mr. Charles Mock and Mr. Yu Si Wing. Uh, thank you. Secretary. In your uh, replies, uh, you mentioned that you would support uh, startup companies. We, of course, support this. But I think the best incubator of uh, new startups uh, will be our industrial uh, institute of uh, industrial. But a uh, part of the site reserve for it is for uh, low or medium density development, housing development. So where can we find the incubator? For this new start, uh, set up startups, so that there can be clustering effects and there can be business opportunities for them. Thank you. Yes, this incubator is not just uh, in the cyber court and a science park. There are other business organizations and uh, multinational companies serving as incubators. Three years ago. There were only three uh, co work spaces available, but now we have over 30 in Hong Kong. And there are over a thousand uh, uh, new uh, set up, uh, startups uh, operating in Hong Kong, so we have got an excellent ambience. So, 
we will uh, help them right from uh, the start of financing. Well, they uh, my first uh, start uh, with seed company, a uh, seed um, uh, money from their relatives and uh, their uh, angels fund and a uh, new venture fund. So we are thinking of a package of measures, supporting measures. There are interdepartmental efforts in the government to help. For instance, uh, when these uh, expatriates uh, from uh, uh, startups in Hong Kong, we have uh, people from immigration department to help them, and the financing of new products. Yes, we are also thinking of ways to help them. Well, uh, we have many new developments as far as this area is concerned, Mr. Pozzi. Of only two minutes, I don't need any response from the um, uh, secretary. It's just my observation. To declare interest, I really I like watching uh, films in a cinema. I, of course, want more cinemas for showing movies. So the direction uh, from the administration is to reserve space for cinemas, cinemas in major cultural and uh, entertainment development areas. While I like cinemas, I um, don't support this. Now, we would not uh, choose uh, a shoemaking industry to support it because this is an industry that is transforming. We should not uh, ask cinemas to take up space given that this is not a viable business. Otherwise, we will be pouring money down to the drains. And take uh, newspapers, printed newspapers as example. If uh, we subsidize the uh, printing of newspapers, this is going against the tide, and we should uh, consider what is the new trend. We are already in an IT age. Should we be so uh, traditional? Because our film industry um, is not viable anymore, and if we want to keep it for the sake of keeping it, it is inappropriate. So I think the secretary and also um, all innovative industries uh, should be forward-looking. And for subsidy, I mentioned a Google Van uh, uh, website. They didn't ask you for money. For uh, the uh, really committed and ambitious young people, uh, they can do it without any funding support from you. Otherwise. I think it's just a show you uh, spend the money, and these people are also not very uh, serious. Well, speak is off mic. For a Google event, uh, we did uh, give them some uh, assistance. It's not that uh, we have n we did not over any support. And I beg to differ when you said that uh, the film industry is already uh, outdated. There is plenty of room for this industry to develop. Mr. Charles Mock. Now, uh, Mr. Z said because in Hong Kong we don't have any industries, and therefore there is no need to have R&D. But you have to understand that R&D activities are for our service industries, and our R&D is mainly in applications. Perhaps Mr. Z uh, doesn't know this trade well. And I'd like to follow up on a data center. There is little mention of data center in uh, the policy address. So. Data center is in great demand. People are saying that uh, the demand for data centers will be growing at 10% uh, or even more. Uh, we have uh, just got a group of data centers uh, set up. So for space, it may seem sufficient in the short term, but in the long term, if there is no proper land planning, then you don't have to wait too long, maybe four or five years. You, uh, these companies will not ha won't have space in Hong Kong. They have to go to Singapore to buy servers, the servers of servers, so and so forth. So you should not uh, do it uh, uh, so haphazardly, and you should not just mention that one or two hectares reserved uh, by Donald Zhang during his term. So uh, please uh, be continuous and sustain your efforts for the development of data centers. Mr. Lam, thank you. 
Yes, we do think that data centers are very important. According to assessment by our consultant, in between 2009 and 2015, uh, the demand for data centers have been growing at 10 percent per year, and uh, this growth trend will continue after 2015. And there is ever increasing demand for data centers, so we will continue to encourage this industry to thrive. Uh, why don't you answer? Uh, simply whether you will have land for that. As I said, uh, we have one hectare, uh, one hectare site which will be launched uh, to the market as soon as possible. Mr. Yu Si Wing. Yes, sir. Our uh, support for SMEs by the government is uh, not too uh, proactive. No, uh, you have got a fund for the uh, retail industry. Please don't talk about further meetings and trainings to enhance their cloud technology. So, to be realistic, I think SMEs want capital. So, after you have uh, reviewed uh, the use of the fund, uh, you can expand. Uh, extend uh, the coverage to other industries. So uh, you organized a few seminars last year, and uh, it was very popular. People uh, had expectations uh, for uh, expansion of the fund. So please consider this. We'll um, continue to support the use or the application of ITC by SMEs. Mr. Ma Fung Kwok, a few minutes left. I'd like to respond to uh, Mr. Paul's remarks. He said that uh, the film industry is a sunset industry. I beg to differ. It's just that to revive it, we need to uh, put in great efforts. Uh, in Taiwan, they spent over a decade to revive their movie industry. I hope uh, we uh, should look at it this way and give support to this industry. Anything more? No? Thank you very much. Agenda item number 2 AOB. If there isn't any, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you.